I still have the list of yeah. these people's representatives yeah. that were okay with data, with yes. having a database, yeah. right? I still have the list in my head. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it out loud, yeah. but I know one. A, yeah, well, there yeah. was a meeting, <laughs> and gone. they said, yeah. "Oh, yeah, why not?" This is the Gomaluku Podcast. My friends, welcome. New episode of the Gomaluku Podcast over here at COP28. We are, well, what are we at? Day number seven of COP28, daily debrief number four, I guess, which covers daily, uh, the days six and seven of COP28. Because mm. we're not doing a daily debrief, not anymore, but it's just like, well, it's too, uh, we were just too, yesterday we were too tired, at least I was too tired to yeah. be able to like, um, yeah, do, say anything that is useful, valuable. Uh, well, what, what, what makes this cup more tired than the one before? I mean, we used to have to do this like a day it's hot. debrief. It's hot. It's hot. It's a heat. It's, it's a heat. Yeah. It's, you know, there's, there's a lot of mileage. Like it, it's, yeah. you have to do, you have to do a lot of walking. Yeah. Um, there's. Yeah, like so for example, like the previous daily debriefs were just at a picnic benches, which is all the way across the venue. Right, right. Um, to get from there to this place B6 where we are right now, yeah. near the IPO office. Yeah. Um, that is at least a, like a 15 to 20 minute walk. Yeah. Um, when it's not freaking hot, if it is hot, then yeah, well, you're it's, sweating super it's been tired before you get here. It's been quite consistent, the temperature. I mean, you know, yeah, somewhere between yeah. 29 to 31 degrees right. all day. Now it's pretty chill. But yeah, I mean, it does make a lot of difference. I mean, I've been walking, I mean, I had my Strava on today. And, mm -hmm. and I've been walking about seven, seven and a half kilometers already from the moment I hopped off the metro. Right. And it just goes on to show, you know, there are more people at this cop. How many more, people are at, at this cop? 10,000. 10,000. No. Probably. 70,000. 100,000. 100,000? 100,000 registered participants. Right, okay. Not everybody shows up at the same time, All but right. it's definitely more than so the biggest cop ever had. 100,000 registered, so probably at any given moment, there are like 70,000 people over here. Yeah, around about that, yeah. Yeah, uh, so this place is massive. Yeah. Um, Expo City is, I think we are at some point, that's what I've been thinking about today actually. Uh, usually we do like a tour of COP. Yeah, we'll do that, yeah. But like, that would be like a one hour video to be able to like do Well, I mean, it, it takes me 20 minutes to get from here to the constituency meeting right across to building one, B1, building one. Yeah. And that's just, you know. But that's, this, this, is, this is one part of this whole. Right, and there's green zone. Please, there's a green zone. And there's more over there. Right, <laughs> and there's more over there. Yeah. You know, so, and, and then not even talk about action, climate action hub yeah. or whatever they want to yeah. call it. So it's, um, yeah, massive. Uh, you know, welcome Absolutely. to Dubai, right? Everything's massive. Bigger. Um, bigger, taller. Well, not taller better? here. Is it better? Better, um, I mean, compared to last year, I would say it's, it's much better. Last year, Egypt. Yeah, no offense, but <laughs> you know. Right. Um, but obviously, you know, being held in a place like Dubai, um, you, you see a lot of, you know, um, I don't know, uh, like space, you know, like we, we are at the furthest corner of the city, right? Like outskirts, like edge of the outskirts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And, and there's plenty of space and, and, and therefore they had, like, can afford to have a big space like this compared to say, you know, Glasgow or, or yeah. Madrid or... And know. also, they haven't even finished building. Right. Like, like there, there's so many th projects ongoing here in, yeah. here in Dubai. Like, yeah. it's, it's when you make your way from your hotel, where you yeah. at, or where, yeah. I'm, where I'm at, yeah. towards the... There, there's so many projects ongoing. Yeah. They're always building something. Right. I mean, oh, every city is building something, but this is like a different building something. Right. You know, like... Yeah. Whatever that may be, it's going to be huge. It's gonna be big. Oh, big and huge, same thing. But it's gonna be, you know, it's, it's one of those yeah. grand projects. Like the, the Burj Khalifa, um, it's, it's, right. like, it's, it's like the tallest building in the world, yeah. I, I assume. Yeah. And is that enough to the, the Emirati? Is, is that enough to Dubai? Right. Absolutely not. No. Like yeah, they, they, they thought yeah. the Dubai airport was small, even though it's one of the biggest airports in the world. Right. And they're building another one, which is just outskirts. On the, on the other side of right. 
Dubai. Yeah. Just because, yeah, they just feel because, like it. Just because. Just because. Just <laughs> because. You know, and then and then there's uh, and Dubai Creek. They're now yeah. building, uh, which is going to be like a 1.8 kilometer high building. Yeah. Okay. Like it's, That's it's pretty tall. 1.6. Yeah. 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 So and yeah. then just to by comparison, uh, Burj Khalifa is just like 800 meters right, something along right, those lines. Right. So it's like almost double. Yeah. Uh, so this this building because they, yeah. they I don't know they yeah. feel like it they yeah. uh, they create uh, yeah. the Dutch were good in, yeah. in creating land from the sea and these people oh, are like building creating, dikes like, and yeah keeping things above water but, but here these, it's like yeah, these aiming people. for the sky like aiming right. for the aiming for the moon yeah and then yeah. like yeah you have the the palm one yeah. and the other one is bigger yeah and then you have like entire like like map of the world island island yeah. It's insane. Like I, I don't, I don't know what, yeah. what, what is next. It makes you wonder, right? Yeah. What, what is next? But and this is just Dubai. Yeah. Not even talking about Abu Dhabi or yeah. any other of these yeah. uh, other five yeah. Emirates, Emirati. So, so I guess the idea is that you know there's so much going on, so many people, big space, and all of these kind of contributes to this fatigue that we often feel, but a little bit magnified right. um, at COP. And you know, um, right now I just feel quite empty i don't know like there's empty not soulless but yeah, it's like it's, it's but, like you know every car there is there's a wave uh for me at least you know and, okay. and and you start off you start off high and then and then you do things that you feel like it's meaningful and it's it's contributing and it's actually driving the influence of the of the indigenous peoples to the to to the negotiators and other you know other people that would make impact in negotiation mm -hmm. But at the same time, but, but you know, but you do have this low where you feel like there's nothing going on, you know, like there's nothing you can do feeling and, 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 and just kind of sitting around and, and, and just, just, uh, yeah, just, just kind of off, go off the rhythm. And okay. then once I go off the rhythm, I feel, I feel quite hard to kind of get back on again. All right. Is it, just a question, because it's, yeah. um, when there's like, Let's call it quiet time. Yeah. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing is happening. Yeah. yeah. It's not that, at least for me, it's not yeah. that I feel a crash or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but it's more like, shit, I should be somewhere. Right, right. Like, like, I, uh, yeah. like so you check the schedule, CCTV, like, all right, I, something's but, wrong. Like, I should be in some kind of a meeting, some kind of bilateral, some yeah. kind of negotiation, whatever. But for me, it's like, I want to be somewhere. You know, like, okay. it's, it's like, it's, it's the state of state of stillness, state of like calmness, st state of like status, stasis, just just standing and right. and 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 not knowing what what I'm doing. It's it's a feeling that you don't want at COP. I mean, even even if if a new if you're new here, and if you're confused and you don't know what to do, I think it's one of the worst feelings you can have here. Um, is it like so? This is this is yeah. something that I've been thinking about. Yeah. You know, like so, that feeling. Yeah. Of. Um, in action that you have at some point yeah. is the only the only way that, that I can, can compare it with is like if when someone that is your family, loved yeah. one, whatever, there's yeah. something's wrong. Yeah. Like um, he or she is sick. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. you know? And then um, you wanna do everything that's humanly possible yeah. to to uh, yeah, console or remedy, right, right, you know, right, also. right. and I, th yeah. I think that's what's going on. Like, so I think, oh, sorry, no, let me rephrase that. Yeah, is that the kind of sensation that you have in terms of um, world is sick, climate change, everything yeah, else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we're here two weeks, can do as much as possible. Yeah. Is is that it? Could yeah. that be it? It's like I use a hospital metaphor. You know, like like okay. like, you, like explain, just, explain it, explain it. So like you know. Say, say my mom is sick and she has cancer, right? Mm -hmm. Outside the operation room, I can do a lot to help her, talk to her and, and, and give her food and, right. and uh, play games. Right. But once she's in the operation room, which is, let's say, like negotiation, right? Yeah. And then, and then you're kind of waiting in the waiting room, right? Um, right. And, and, and helpless. And then you always want to do something, but you can't. And, and that, that feeling, I mean, not, it may perhaps not that extreme, but it, it's, it's this feeling, you know? Um, for example, uh, Article 6.4. First right. day, we had a contact group and they said there are some concerns. And we got some information about, okay, we have a bit of a divergence here. 
so, so we can work on it. But for three days, you know, we didn't really hear much about no, no, yeah. the development. And this is the feeling, like, you know, like they go back to, the states go back and do their own thing. Mm -hmm. And we are kind of like feeling uh, left without a lot of information and a lot of updates mm -hmm. on what's going on. It's like yeah. a doctor operating and, and, and then when a doctor comes out, it's like, oh, like, what's going on, you know? Right. Yeah, but, yeah. but until then, this time, it feels like, you know, what, what, you know, what am I supposed to do? Well, what Powerless, can I, yeah, surrender. What, what, can I, what can I do to make it better, you know? Right. Um, Even though you know yeah. that it's out of your hands. Right. Right? Right. That, that it's, let, let the, in your metaphor, in your uh, analogy is like, let the doctor or the surgeon yeah. do their thing. Yeah. Um, and then you have to like wait until the surgeon comes back, like, all right, right. it gives you like the, I don't know, like an update. Yeah. Something it's like, like that. if you try to get into the surgical room, the, someone will push you out. Like, no, sorry, you cannot be here. Right, right, right. Yeah, like yeah. you got, you got to get out. Okay. And, you know. Yeah. So yeah, so it's it's a lot of waiting. Yeah, right? it's a lot of waiting. Um, and there are times when you can actually do something, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Intel gathering. You know, like it's like going to Wikipedia and reading about cancer. Like that's you know that's that's the metaphor. Right? Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Today is like nowadays it's chat GPT. Chat GPT, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like going in WhatsApp group and 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 and, um, and trying to kind of trying to get a piece of something that 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 could make me feel like I'm actually pro like developing my understanding on what's going on. Right. Um, but aren't you like so you're trying to what's the right word? Uh, keep yourself occupied. Is that yeah. what it well, is? Yeah. There, there's a rhythm. Right? right, there's yeah, a rhythm. Yeah. There's a rhythm in the whole kind of cop experience. Right, right. It intense. It's supposed to intensify as as you as you go along. Yeah. Um, but this cop, it's, you know, it's it's it's, it's been a lot of up and down. Like it's there's there uh, like this. Uh, okay. And and and, and uh, every cop is different, but uh, but this one I particularly felt uh, at least these days quite. Um, yeah, there, there are times when I feel like I don't have enough legs to do all the work. And, okay. then, and then there are times I just feel like, you know, give me something. Right. Yeah. And, and what do you do when you're like, all right, give me something. So what, what generally what you do is you like go to the office, like close your eyes and like, you know what, I'm going to sleep for a couple hours or what, what is it that... No, uh, I mean, I spend an awful lot of time in the office these days, um, you know, just sitting in and there are, there are always people. Yeah. Um, and 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 then oftentimes I find myself talking to these people. Right. Uh, um, and those, but those are kind of unrelated to the negotiation themselves, or just looking at the online platform and, and see if there's anything interesting going on. Right. Um, well, I don't know. I, I just or, or I just go to the you know I, I'm like you know what I just don't want to be here anymore. So I'm gonna walk 20 minutes to get to the human rights and climate change group across the street, even though like. Yeah, maybe I'm not gonna get much out of there, but I'm still gonna go anyway right. because I just don't want to stop. I just don't want to be in that situation where I'm completely FOMO. Uh, no, it's not FOMO. I just no? don't, I just don't want to be in a situation where I'm where I'm just doing nothing. Okay. Yeah. Right. Tell me the difference between um, yeah the online platform, yeah. so you, you can you can like catch the the negotiation yeah, on, yeah, yeah. on Article Six yeah. versus being in the room. Well, let, is there an out of, out of benefits, pros and cons? Well, well, let's face it, right? Online platform. If I use online platform, I can listen in to the negotiation from any parts of the world, mm -hmm. right? Uh, of course, the benefit of that is sometimes you get the clarity of what the, what, the, what the negotiators are saying because when you're in the room, the sound kind of echoes a little bit and, yeah. and sometimes things get lost and if you don't have a table in front of you, you're kind of writing on your knees, right? So it's not... It's, and, and, the, and the room is always crowded, so, so it's really hard for, for one to concentrate and, 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 and keep consistent focus uh, on, on the negotiation dynamic. Right. Uh, of course, today, like day like today, another thing, there's a technical problem. And, and oftentimes things freeze, and then I, was, I just threw a pen at my computer screen this morning because, <coughs> because you know, Someone was making a very important intervention. I wanted to hear it, but then the, the hourglass appeared oh, in front of my face. Right. And that was the moment I actually realized, yeah, I mean, in, in person is, is much superior. But, you know, I've been in many in-person negotiations before. Yeah. And, um, 
And obviously, depending on the format, you can actually see a lot of what the negotiations are. Negotiators are kind of the dynamic because there there is some plus alpha factor that 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 you cannot pick up just by looking at the virtual platform because Such virtual. As? Well, virtual platform only show you the person's face. Okay. Right. Uh, and you don't get to see the dynamic of the, the atmosphere, the people's reaction, people's emotion to what other people, what that per specific person is saying. Right. Um, and of course, uh, we had this situation in the first day when I was observing the uh, negotiation, the negotiation in the in the in the virtual platform, and but the uh, the the chair of the meeting gave observers time to speak. Mm -hmm. Right. And then and then and then there were, there were no indigenous people uh, observer who can or who are there and willing to speak. Yeah. There. So 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 that's. You know, and I think there was a miss, that's a big missed opportunity, okay. I would say. So, so the presence in the room is always, always crucial, regardless of, of, of whether there is an offering of the virtual platform or not. Right, um, well, yeah. Well, in, in addition, um, I always prefer like being in, in the room. Like, it, yeah. I don't care if, if they, they web stream, webcast, yeah. like 4K yeah. or 8K, yeah. whatever, yeah, yeah. Dolby Surround, like it's, yeah. it's, like you said, you know, the, the the camera focuses on the speaker and yeah. you only see that. Yeah. Whereas I'm much more interested in seeing how other people respond. Yeah. And you don't see that um, from your, even though you have like a 43 inch TV yeah. or whatever, like you, you uh, monitor, you yeah. don't see that. Yeah. And particularly, like, unfortunately, like the setup in these negotiations is like it's like school uh, classroom format you know like right, rows right, and right, rows right, and rows right. so you do not see people's facial expressions especially yeah. when you're like in as an observer like all the way in the back yeah and you only sure. look at people's you know the back of yeah. the heads and their shoulders you know yeah. so you yeah. only see that yeah however and if, if it's like if in a circle format like in absolutely it's if they if in one of those rooms like room meeting room four yeah. you know and and some yeah. of these other rooms, yeah. you can actually see people's facial expressions. Yeah. And like, I had this conversation today with some, some youth reps about like, all right, how do I prepare for negotiation and everything else? And then like, um, like, and one of the things that I said was like, when, let's say like, let's say you're talking, yeah, and I'm, I'm observing, yeah, then I don't need to talk to you. Like, I know that you're talking, yeah, and yeah. also like. It is much more interesting to like whilst you're talking like all right how how is yeah. Chile responding to what yeah. you're saying yeah. how is Norway responding yeah. or is is there a response from Japan yeah. um, verbal uh, visual uh, body language all, yeah. that, all that stuff yeah. that is so much more interesting to me yeah. that it also like it's part of the kind of like the profile that you have yeah. of um, yeah of of persons parties that might not be like a deciding factor, mm. but it helps you, or helps me at least. Yeah. Uh, all right, you said something, and at that point, yeah. uh, Chile was like very uncomfortable, yeah. or Peru looked at you like yeah. in, in in total disgust. Yeah. So that that regis that registers for me because that that to give you a very very a good example yeah. like yeah last uh, last night when yeah. they went like overtime yeah. on so many yeah. uh, negotiating streams including agriculture yeah and that was one of those like yeah. those rooms where they sat in like a square format yeah and one of the uh that g77 plus china reps can't remember which country that was was speaking and so everyone was looking at in yeah. that direction yeah but like yeah it's not interesting because yeah. i know that that person is speaking yeah so you look at the others at the yeah. other direction, and then you see like some other countries, like, what the, what the hell yeah. is he talking about? Like, yeah. like, like this. And, so that's interesting to me, um, to as as to know what the, yeah. Even though I don't I don't track agriculture, yeah. But to know a little bit the dynamics, landscape, yeah. uh, and all those things. So it's that's I, one of the reasons why it, it it's for me at least like yeah. it's um, yeah, in person trumps uh, I guess virtual. I guess yeah. There is also two examples that I have in my head that would probably uh, support your um, argument. One was the transitionary committee. 
mm-hmm. in, uh, in Abu Dhabi last, last month. Right. And this whole movement of people that you don't see yeah. on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, uh, um, on the video, right? So you, 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 know, you see the speaker, but behind the speakers, there are so many delegates who are kind of moving from one place to another, maybe one party's heading over to another party, uh, yeah. negotiating and talking. And then, and then you kind of wonder, uh, and then you have more context around, okay, so this statement was made and, and all of a sudden, the room started to move, but you don't, you don't really see that uh, in, in the virtual. And another example is when we were in Sharm. Mm-hmm. We had a negotiation at 2.30 in the morning. Right. And, and, we, and there were many delegates who weren't paying attention because they are human. And at the same time, they are also very, very exhausted and tired. And, 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 uh, and at that time, we were there. To see it, um, but but uh, but when some statements are made, being made which are of concern to you know indigenous peoples and civil societies, mm-hmm. and then you look around the room and everybody's not taking any notes or or or, or reacting to it, I right. say, um, then then being in a room allows allows some kind of some some of us take action, right. Um, Whereas virtual, then like <laughs> you, you have nothing, you can do, you can do nothing about it. D- d- describe to me then. Um, all right, L- let's say that we we agree that like there's added benefit and yeah. well, there's more more benefit in being yeah. in a room, yeah. obviously. Yeah. However, you can also be in a room uh, and just paying attention. Yeah. But when something like that happens, yeah. like that that yeah. you, that you described, yeah. um, what was the uh, like what tell me the stuff that you went through from like the observation like oh right they talk about rights of each people for yeah. example yeah. you see them like doze off and yeah. like what is it the, the, the process that you go through like right. right get up go to them yeah. and what do you say so we had we had um, we had a team of three people and I, I, it was, it was actually four, and then you went, you, you decided to. Uh, I decided I had to go. Yeah, you had to go. Had to go. <laughs> you had yeah. to go. Um, you tried your best to delay your flight, but um, but that. Oh, yeah, let's possible. not talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, you know, our our task given bef- uh, our task before us that was given to you, given f- by you was very clear. Um, defend the paragraph. Um, which references human rights. I don't know if it was it referenced rights of indigenous people, but it definitely referenced human rights yeah, yeah. or some kind of safeguard language. Um, and and we were there to defend it until the, until the end of the consultation, uh-huh. at least. Um, so what happened was around three two thirty three a.m. in the morning, there was an intervention, and I, I won't I won't say which country it was, but there was an intervention from some con- one country that decided to. Kind of challenge this uh, paragraph to be deleted, uh, and I we heard it, uh, and then okay. So my assumption was, well, that should kind of provoke some kind of response mm-hmm. or, or 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 emotion right. or, or or like you know uh, writing something. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it didn't happen, and the speaker's list kind of continued. Yeah. Um, so I tapped on, at that time it was Ronaldo. Ronaldo's shoulder and says, um, okay, there was no reaction from, from, from the parties that, were, that would ordinarily defend this particular paragraph. So, um, so I said, okay, let's check who's in the room, mm-hmm. right? So we did the inventory check. EU was there, ILAC was there, uh, uh, who else was there? Uh, Noe was there, and EIG. EIG was there. Yeah. Um, uh, so AOSIS. AOSIS was there. So um, uh, I'm not a particularly a kind of guy with a nerve to walk up to the delegates, but we had we had Ronaldo, who was you know who's who's very much you know uh, uh, good at this stuff. Okay. Uh, so I asked Ronaldo, hey, um, can you can you go around uh, the room to j- just to make sure that uh, they they heard the intervention, mm-hmm. uh, not that reiterate the position, but they heard. Right. And, 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 then, and then they understand what, what, the, what, the, what, the, um, what the, this particular country was objecting to. Yeah. Uh, so so Renato was like, sure. He would, he would go around the room and, and, then, and then he reported back and, 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 and told me that, yeah, like uh, they were kind of like, uh, they were, they were, they were, one of them was not paying attention. 
Um, and then once that happened, actually, I don't think any party members in the room realized that there were observers sitting in the negotiation. Up until that moment. Up until that moment. Right. Um, and maybe, I would say, uh, we were kind of like, well, were we, were, were we actually allowed to go around the room and, 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 and talk to the parties? But that's, that's, that's perhaps another question. But, but you know, but we have, we have, we had the opportunity, so, so we did it. Um, and then we had, and then we started to hear uh, interventions led by the EU. Um, and then, and then obviously, I think the EU understood that we have actually communicated concerns evenly across the, the parties which would defend this particular paragraph. So, so, so number of interventions followed that would, that, and, and they have indeed highlighted, you know, oh, we, we, we. Uh, we support the EU's comment on this particular paragraph. Uh, right, because like if we do not say anything, then the co-chairs in, in this case assume that it's fine. Like silence yeah. is yeah. fine. It's consensus. It's so consensus, if, right? if there's no objection, then right. then they would assume that. So uh, uh, so you want them to push back. Well, yeah, so you, you yeah. go around the room, yeah. like hey, by the way, wake yeah. up. Um, yeah. Like this, is what it, what's being said, yeah. and it, it's fine. By the way, like because it's, it's yeah. like two a.m. in the yeah. morning, everyone yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we didn't say like, oh, why didn't you? But you know, yeah. but we, we just went in and says, did you, did you, did you register the intervention? That's so been the made? quorum is also like super important. Yeah, it's not like, hey, idiot, like yeah. this, but you. Yeah, we were kind of very discreet about it, right? Like we just diplomatic. Go, I would diplomatic, say diplomatic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and um, and then I think they they all knew the position of indigenous peoples. Right. Yeah. Uh, so so and and um, so yeah. I mean, but Renato came back later and said, "Oh, one of the party just told me to get lost." You know. But <laughs> <laughs> but, but that, that's that's part of the that's part of the that's part right, of yeah, what happens. That happens. Um, that happens. Um, but um, but you know, he doesn't take it. I mean, he's he's a very you know. No, but like it's also like a volume game. You know, yeah. like so like yeah, you, you can uh, like there's so many parties around the table. You obviously you go to the parties that you know yeah, yeah, very course, well first, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you like you, it's a numbers game. Like so, yeah. you, many, you try to approach as many parties as possible, yeah. Yeah. and like just wait for like the yeah. one to take the floor yeah. to push back, yeah. and and maybe that will trigger other parties to say something right. about that as well. Right. So I'm I'm asking like it's like it's, I just want to highlight the importance of being in a room, yeah. even when. Dubai is awesome. You, you go, yeah. you go to Burj Khalifa and uh, Burj Al Arab and, yeah. and and Dubai Mall and yeah. whatnot. And whatnot. Yeah. Uh, whereas negotiations are ongoing. Yeah. And the last thing that, no, not the last thing. Something that bugs me is always that, yeah, negotiations are ongoing, yeah. and you say like, and you commit, not commit, you sign up for a work stream. Yeah. But when negotiations are going, even when they go like beyond 8 p.m., 10 p.m., yeah, whatever, yeah. you're not in the room. Yeah. And, and this is where I think a lot about, you know, what is the responsibility of observers, right, at right. the COP? What is the responsibility upon us on behalf of the civil society to, 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 to do here? Right. Um, and so when I was in this room, which was, which was deciding a very important uh, uh, the very core of the pa Paris Agreement, the carbon market. I mean, I don't want to say core, but one of the, one of the fundamental pieces mm -hmm. of, of Paris Agreement, carbon market. And I was just astonished that in that meeting, there was only four of us. Right. And then we felt like, oh my God, you know, like... The, the, it all comes down to it this. It all comes down to this. Yeah. And, then, and then just remember how many observers have signed up for this call. Right. And, and, and they're asking for better participation. They're asking for... Uh, more spaces for observers to observe. Yet, right. when you get to the most important, critical uh, segment of negotiations, where are they? Yeah, so that is one of my, uh, th that's like one of the elements of my main concerns when it yeah. comes to participation of yeah. these peoples yeah. in these spaces yeah. is that like we ask for everything. We, we, yeah. uh, we, when we go into, the, into negotiations, yeah. like participation, Article 18 yeah. and everything else, like, like it's it's a it's a talking point. Yeah. Like it's it's a continuing yeah. talking point. The th one thing that I always start instilling in people is that yeah. well, yeah, with right comes responsibility. Yeah. And also like if you have the right to participation to participate in decision making yeah. uh, processes that affect you. Yeah. And you have and that that right is, you have, you uh, you are able to participate. And yeah. You should be participating. Yeah. And 
Yeah, nobody likes these late night negotiations yeah. uh, till 10, 10 p.m. Yeah. Uh, midnight or 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And I can assure you that will happen in the second week. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it these could just late happen. Night negotiations. It could even happen tonight. You never know. Well, it happened last night. It happened last it night. Happened last yeah. night. Yeah. Uh, we went here until yeah. midnight. And, you know, it, it, the, the, the crazy thing is, is that, like, uh, and it's totally not CSO perspective, but yeah. definitely the indigenous people yeah. say so like, all right, Article Six. Well, we we know what we want six two six four yeah. six eight. Yeah. Um, but then you know, like you, you, I look at the CCTV like, oh, agriculture is still ongoing. Yeah. Stop take still going. Stop take is still ongoing. So, um, um, I I check in or and I then I see like, all right, yeah, the uh, two indigenous youth reps yeah. uh, from Latin America are yeah. still. Um, still here yeah and kudos to them by the way you know absolutely yeah but yeah, yeah it, it's it's keeping the pressure on yeah because keeping the pressure on is not uh is not just through words mm. and bilaterals yeah. but actually like showing your face yeah. in those meeting rooms yeah. and you know like telling them like hey we're here yeah you know like and if, if there's something happens that we don't like we'll yeah. walk up to you yeah and the flip side of it is yeah. also like yeah. if something happens that we like yeah We'll walk up to you and like, say, like, hey, thank you. Yeah. You know, like, and, and, and those are things, actually, because you need to, you need to, one is to, like, to, to put pressure on them, but yeah. also encourage them. Yeah. You know, so, and it's something that, that, that is, uh, is kind of, like, bugging me is, like, is that first day cop, and this is every year and yeah. when, that I went yeah. to cop, first day cop, everyone signs up for, for, a, for a working group, yeah, yeah, yeah. work stream, yeah. uh, very ambitious, yeah. but then, like the first meeting happens and you already see like, all right, people dropping off. Yeah, yeah. And then when it comes to like late night negotiations and then the, like sometimes like I text people like, all right, hey, um, uh, uh, contact group starts at eight, mm -hmm. um, anyone available? Oh no, sorry, I'm not at COP anymore. Or yeah. uh, I'm already at, at the hotel. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, you know, like it's, the thing is, is that this is like a peak moment. Like it, it, this is like over well, here cop for yeah. two weeks. It is actually a very important that we, yeah, that we do excel, that we yeah. do keep the pressure on, and that we do uh, keep, yeah, looking them in the faces or standing in the, standing in the faces and yeah. say like, hey, yeah, uh, doesn't matter whether it's eight a.m. Yeah. or eight p.m. We're here, and that is something that that I would like to I see more. A lot more, and and I like to think you say right is a responsibility. The right comes with responsibility. Absolutely, I I, I have I, I agree with that. And uh, my way of putting it is like with right comes practice. As in, um, sure. Uh, if you don't practice it, then it'll be taken away. Right. You know, uh, if if we don't practice the right to be in the room at two o'clock in the morning. Well, the, 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 the secretariat's just going to sign a smaller room. Oh, we don't need a bigger room. We thought the observer will show up, but they didn't. Right. So we're going to just pick a, pack everybody in a small room. And then if we do decide to practice it later, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, the room is full. Yeah. Or, oh, well, you know what, late night, uh, late night uh, the observer's not going to be around anyway, so we might as well call the meeting clo like a closed meeting. Yeah, so s same thing with uh, these people's right to self-determination. Yeah. Like, you don't ask for it, you right. claim it. Right. You know, and, and yeah. that is something that uh, um, is... Yeah, it, it still hasn't instilled in, in, mm. in, in people, I think. Yeah. It's uh, in a way that I wanted, that I wanted to see yeah. in the negotiations. Like, mm. well, hey, self-determination is something that you claim. So yeah. you show up to those meetings. Yeah. You... Uh, uh, well, any rights, right? Like you, 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 even yeah, human like, rights. Yeah, like yeah. You but like, but, but it, it's, always, it's always like when it comes to sovereignty, self-determination, yeah. like yeah. people talk about it. Yeah. You know, like there's like... Yeah, we have the right to sovereignty and yeah. self determination. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, like I'm, 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 I'm one of the most, I'm one of the proponents yeah. of that. Yeah. However, it's not something that you only claim when it, uh, you know, when when it when it suits you. Mm. Like it's mm. so when it comes to these negotiations, yeah, you do show up. Yeah. Uh, and and um, yes, it it takes a long time. Like yeah. and it takes a while or. Uh, it goes well into the night, yeah. but uh, hey, you know, like you sign up for this. But you know, you also represent the. You also you also work at the pledge of the caucus, and you represent them in a in a various capacity, right? Mm -hmm. uh, as an Article Six head. So not only the self determination of your nation, 
but self determination of all like you know peoples or, right. or the or the or the people who, peoples who are represented in this caucus. So yeah. it's so so there's more more than more than that. You know, like you, you have to think about everybody, uh, every, everyone who show up, and 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 they they all have their uh, all have their demands and, and wishes, and you can't just work uh, for yourself in a way. Or no, for, 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 for your nation. I mean, you try to, but uh, at the same time, you have to think about all other kind of. Uh, yeah, because like my contacts, for example, yeah. it, it's not contacts, but the context yeah. is different than the context of Indian people living in North America or in Latin America sure, or wherever, sure, you know? So sure. it's, it's not that. So one thing that, that a lot of people need to know is that, like, so when you're in a. Definitely when you're in, a, in the international level, yeah. let alone if you're. Yeah leading or yeah. in the leadership position whatever yeah. you know like you need to find that 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 balance yeah like the last yeah. thing you should be doing like all right this is what i think yeah and everyone everyone else yeah. like fuck you and yeah. and, and yeah. uh like you all need yeah. to do what i want yeah. you to do yeah no it's it's, it's the, the opposite of yeah. it it's like all right like you got to balance it out like what are your views what yeah. are your views what are your, what are your yeah. views all right so what is the 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 common denominator. What is the middle ground yeah. so that we can carry it forward? That yeah. everyone can recognize yeah. themselves yeah. in the strategy or in, in or in the position that, that we do. For example, so it's also you know for example one of the one of the great uh, examples is this this caucus meeting that we had this morning. Separation of local communities and indigenous peoples. Yeah. You know it's it's it as clear as it can get. Yeah. You know like it's the caucus wants it yeah you know, and um, and like people keep dancing yeah. around the issue yeah at some people yeah uh, but it's clear that this is what the caucus wants because yeah. it recognizes the dangers yeah of uh, of the conflation of indigenous yeah. people's local communities yeah. and then it is okay like there is some reference to local knowledge systems in the Paris yeah. Agreement yeah um, there is something going on yeah. over there at the CBD yeah however you know like you do see the danger yeah and like keeping sticking to the letter of the law mm. for example the Paris Agreement yeah try to do as much mm. as possible but also post Paris we did start capitalize, cap start to capitalize INP of indigenous, indigenous peoples mm. you know so there are things that are necessary yeah. to to yeah to push for to improve yeah. uh, because if not yeah. then it will usurp or water down the existing rights that we already yeah. have yeah. You know? so it's um, it's like it, the the core of, the, of what I'm kind of trying to get to is is the mandate yeah you know like so the caucus decides the caucus is is, is pretty much unanimous about like that this yeah. needs to happen, but yeah. it's there's still like resistance yeah. from from a few yeah. to push this, yeah. to push this forward in the way that the caucus wants this. Yeah. So that is that's some some one of also one of the things mm -hmm. that I'm um, concerned with. I feel like it's a discussion that require also requires. I mean, you know, we clearly heard today that you know enough time has been spent on this, right? Yeah. Um, something has to be done. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, caucus is also a space where, where, I guess you have you have people new to the discussion coming in. Uh, so of course there has to be some time to discuss it in the caucus. But obviously there are so many other things that's going on during the day that that, that makes it very difficult right. to, to kind of utilize that time to, to to discuss something as important as this. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, so we're starting to. But the reality is that that this language of say indigenous and local knowledge is, is coming up in the in, in different work streams within the within the Paris Agreement from yeah. global global golden adaptation to uh, six point eight six point eight uh, uh, GST GST and agriculture agriculture yeah and obviously it's hard to determine what what is the source of this particular issue who, who pushed it yeah, yeah who pushed yeah. it but at the same time um, it's also a result of perhaps the people who are responsible in looking after these different work stream um, have noted but haven't really uh, reacted to it. Right. So now, like we're in a situation where, 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 um, where you know, yesterday, for example, we went to start. We we we, we started. You started covering different topic. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
So, so, but how does it work? Because, because first of all, like you're supposed to focus on Article Six, right? Yeah. That's 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 what the caucus has 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 uh, mandated you to do. Bestowed upon Bestowed me. Bestowed yeah, upon yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then, but then, but then now, like people come and go. Some people might have already left. We don't know. Mm -hmm. But but someone has to has to kind of you know has to has to address this yeah. issue. Uh, and but you don't have the you don't have the caucus mandate to say go go into global someone else's kind of turf basically. Yeah. Um, but but again, like I said, it's it's not very working out very well in terms of coordination and, and, and advocacy. No. So 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 what's your what's your kind of you know next few days right? This is crucial. How are you going to kind of um, you know report to the caucus or how are you going to try to kind of get the people to understand like this is a, this is a big issue because. If you don't do anything about it, then 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 then, then it'll stay. Right. It'll get adopted, and as some other places in some other time, they're going to use this language. Exactly, because like it's so right now how it is written is like indigenous knowledge and local knowledge. Yeah. And it's, it's trying to mirror indigenous peoples and local communities. Right. So first of all, like when it comes to just the way I see it right now, like it's 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 fine if you talk about knowledge. Yeah. The problem is, is when you talk about rights, yeah. then there needs to be a comma or and as appropriate, all that yeah. stuff. L uh, legalese. Yeah. Um, but you do see, as of late, mm. and I mean as of late, like this mm. cop, mm. that when it comes to indigenous knowledge, they like there's also local yeah. knowledge. Yeah. The question is like, what in the world is local knowledge? Right. And also like, it's I understand local communities if it if. It's within the, the the spirit of the convention of the CBD. Yeah. Like in these uh, local communities, embodying traditional lifestyles for conservation of yeah. uh, the yeah. uh, something yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. Right. That is clear. Yeah. But uh, so they're trying to abbreviate or like make it short to local local communities. Yeah. All right. Um, still murky, but I get yeah. it. Yeah. But local knowledge doesn't make any sense. Like mm. if it, it so local knowledge it implies that there's also global knowledge. Right. You know, so and, and then, what is it then? Yeah. You know, um, I have local knowledge, right? About, yeah, about this place. Yeah, but like, uh, what is then global global knowledge? And where's the, the line yeah. between? Yeah. Anyway, that's yeah. a whole yeah, whole yeah. different <laughs> conversation that doesn't yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but it's not specific enough <coughs> to be comfortable with. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, the the the, the thing that I am I'm, I'm concerned with is that not only that, but also that it pops up everywhere. Yeah. X that that like I I just glance over the yeah. uh, uh, the decision text of agriculture yeah. and it glancing over is like uh, like command F yeah, indigenous command F. yeah all sorts of local knowledge all right and then we uh, uh, agriculture uh, adaptation DGA it's so like command F local yeah. knowledge like what what in the world's going yeah. on you know so like. The way that I addressed it is yeah. that, all right, um, I do it in a caucus. Yeah. So, yeah, of course, like, I do Article 6, but then, uh, like, you, you, what I did was, yeah. like, I grabbed one other stream and said, like, hey, guys, just, I just want to flag yeah. that this is going on. Yeah. Also, I expect, I do my best to inform the caucus as accurate as possible yeah. about, a, about a negotiating stream. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I don't have... Anything to say, yeah. I will shut up. Yeah. Um, so, but because the, the last thing that I want is to make up stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And also give outdated information. Yeah. Because uh, that was happened at caucus as well. Mm. You know, so, so the caucus was presented with information that was um, as accurate until 4 p.m. Yeah. Well, there was a, a contact group or, or, or a negotiation yeah. still ongoing at midnight yeah. and there was still a, um, uh, a, a new iteration to be yeah. presented by the, uh, the co-facilitators yeah. of the global stock tech. Yeah. You know, so like it, it is super important that um, when people call upon you to report that you are able to report or you put yourself in a position to report, but yeah. also like provide the, the information. That, well, be accurate at least, right? It's like, epic. Yeah. It's epic. Yeah. So like we, we cannot ask for or, or Ask or uh, how do I say the claim or assert yeah. FPIC uh, externally, mm. it will have to do it internally. Yeah. So, because, like, yeah, so I expect from a, a lead of a work stream yeah. to present me with the information that I need yeah. 
if there's a decision to yeah. be made yeah. um, that's accurate and that, yeah. that, that is, you know, like according to an FPIC. Yeah. So obviously on Alka 6, I cannot do that in three minutes or, right. uh, during the caucus. Right. So we do coordination. Yeah. If you are interested, yeah. you go to coordination. Yeah. So the thing is, is that, um, so in, in caucus is what I do is like, oh, hey guys, this is what I see. This is yeah. what I pop, see pop yeah. up. This is what I believe to be the consequence of yeah. it. Yeah. Hence, or ergo, we need to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. You know, like, so, so you never yeah. come up with a half a thing. Like yeah. you, you, you do, 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 do need to do something yeah. or present something uh, yeah. to, to them. So that is a little bit the, the, the challenge, not the challenge, but something that I that observed today that um, it actually, and I had this, this conversation with, with uh, Dane there, um, this afternoon from the um, Métis National Council mm -hmm. that could it be researcher, you know, like, so, so maybe you have, you have, you have better, better mm -hmm. uh, academic view on it. Indigenous peoples, like what is, yeah, the, the, so in these people, the thing that we are like, that we herald, that we are mm. claimed to be famous for, or are, are famous mm. for, is holistic mm. uh, view, cosmovision, yeah. vision, like that yeah. mindset, yeah. right? Which is very good for dealing with these issues that is super siloed. Yeah. Agriculture, yeah. adaptation, yeah. Article 6, loss and damage, yeah. all silos, yeah. right? So you would think that we would be able to play that whole whole yeah, game yeah to make sure that that, that we have that we jump over mm. these silos mm. that that we see through compartmentalization mm. of the mm. of the unit of mm. so my, i'm gonna ask you mm. what if the tables have been turned right so the unit of or 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 cop or cma has figured it out, yeah. how one inf in influences the other. For example, Article 6, yeah. GST, yeah. loss and damage, yeah. uh, agriculture, GST, yeah. all stuff. Yeah. Yet indigenous peoples are still hyper-focused on tunnel vision, work stream. I focus on loss and damage. I focus yeah, on, yeah, uh, yeah. on agriculture. Yeah. That's the, so yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm afraid of. Yeah. That, that, that's happening yeah. right now. Yeah. Well, it's... Let's, there's also another kind of way to look at it, right? Because when you look at global stock take, global stock take is basically bringing everything back together, yeah. right? So it was silo before, just like cover decision, the, 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 the stock take is meant to bring the, the different work stream into one, one, one concise document. Mm -hmm. But it's still very siloed because the way it's organized is, 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 is sectioned, right? right? Um, but I think there, there, are, there are some things that, that that really bothers me. Um, just just looking at um, uh, not bothers me, but something I noticed. Yeah. Maybe bothers. Maybe I've already said it bothers me, but you know, noticed is that is that not only it's 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 siloed now, but it's also driven by um, it's also driven by 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 uh, in, in in a very simple term, money. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because. Um, Indigenous peoples also talk about, you know, you can't, you can't put money on things. You can't, you can't, you can't trade nature because right. nature is, is, uh, is intrinsic to us. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a symbiotic relationship that, right. that really makes, uh, makes, makes uh, indigenous people's lifestyle, say, sustainable. Yeah. Um, but um, I feel that even if people are working for a different work stream, there's always this temptation to to play this game of of um, of, of markets and money, mm -hmm. you know. And and that's I think that's actually more of a growing concern for me uh, as an observer, is that um, working as a silo. Um, Sometimes it helps us to organize knowledge, but that could also be very colonizing mm -hmm. uh, because, because it's not organized in your own term. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure even, even, even Japanese people will feel, what, mitigation, adaptation? Yeah. It's not just <clears throat> indigenous peoples, I think. A lot of people think, why, do, why are we organizing our work in such a way? Right. But what's cross-cutting is the question of finance. It's the question of, of, uh, of 
just just general imperative of putting putting money on everything. Yeah. Um, and that also kind of changes what is incentive here for work, right? Yeah. Um, and and I think that that's what a, that's a concern that's not just shared by some indigenous peoples, but also by just general NGOs. You know, mm -hmm. looking for no market solutions, looking for um, you know really bringing the action to the community um, and giving them direct access to funding, uh, or, or 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 just just rewarding people with good ideas, mm -hmm. right? Regardless of who you are. Yeah. Um, but now, the, not only the not only the government game, but also finance game is set up by the by the by the people with the money, and then, yeah. and then everybody are kind of like being played to play both games, right? Gov like you have, to, you have to you have to you have to play the silo game, but you also have to play the finance game. Okay. And 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 that's and playing and when you combine those two together, what you get is a very very, you know. Uh, very, very, uh, I don't know, like a, um, like, a, like, a, like a capitalist system where everything, even in the silo stream, has to be spoken of in relation to finance. Yeah, but so is the natural conclusion then about all this, yeah. your observation, yeah. is that prob no, it is. The climate change is a whole is an economy. It's well, yeah, economy. it's I, it's it's a it's 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 a marketization. Right. Um, at least that's how I feel like. I mean, we've seen that you know this 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 spread of uh, market mechanisms through different uh, work work stream of of, of the UN, yeah. right? CBD and potentially even in BBNJ. Definitely in yeah. Triple C. Yeah. yeah. And you in Triple C as well. Um, and. I'm not saying that people don't need financing. I think you know there are there are a lot of uh, projects that are worth investing in. Right. Uh, and but I think, at what cost? Yeah. At what cost? Right. Again. Um, so what's the price on rights? What's the price yeah. on? And 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 this it happens in negotiation, right? Like yeah. like like what do I get in return for 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 uh, for erasing uh, the reference to human rights or something like that. Right. Um, what I get in return for um, for you know for something that should uh, that should not have a price. That should, that should that can, that's a priceless thing. Yeah. The things things that no matter how much people are willing to give you, you cannot trade it because it's important to you. Supposedly. 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 Yeah. 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 But now you've seen it. There, there's yeah. Wiggle room. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle room. Yeah. And some of the arguments that some people make. Uh, constituencies, yeah. including some indigenous yeah. peoples, like there, there's, there, there, there's wriggle room. Yeah, has been, I don't know, interpreted, created. Yeah. And, and I think this is why I feel I, I, I share the, I share the um, views of Andrea. Like, no what market approach is really exciting to me, mm -hmm. um, because there are states, you know, there's 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 one reference to carbon pricing that, like, a lot of states want to get rid of, yeah. right? <laughs> and it just we just want that approach to be something that is in, like not innocent, but to be to be free, Noble. to Noble. be free yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Of, 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 of pricing. The pure intent of international cooperation. Yeah, pure, yeah. pure intent of international cooperation, sharing knowledge uh, and, and letting people live the lifestyle that they deem sustainable and then let them uh, access, practice their mitigation adaptation yeah. in, in their own way. Right. And I wonder, you know, maybe that's what indigenous people might have wanted, like just be left alone and, and do their own thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and if there is funding required, then, 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 then of course there should be a mechanism for that. But I feel like if there is going to be a funding that comes for the non-market mechanism to, to, to support these projects. What, 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 what would you say to people, because I heard yeah. it, because yeah. we've been talking about non-market approach yeah. and, and, yeah. and build, building in elements of just transition, yeah. Yeah. Uh, indigenous knowledge, yeah. uh, practices and yeah. ways of knowing yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, what would you say to people who say, hey, but it's still a non-market approach. Yeah. So it's still a market. Oh, right. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's um, so the thinking behind it mm -hmm. is very uh, related to the market, right? Because, it, because it's still silo between what is market and what is no market. Okay. Right, so that, that's the frame. It's yeah. not like what is nature, what is technology. 
or what is uh, what is indigenous and what is non-indigenous. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's market and no market. Yeah. Right. But at least no market. And I'm not. I think indigenous peoples have markets, don't you think? They they have. Markets. We have economies. Yeah, you have economies. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just it's just it's just it's uh it's a different way. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a barter system. Yeah. Barter. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, something yeah. like that. You know. Yeah. But yeah. there's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but we'll continue. Sorry. There's no privatization. Like I mean, there it might could be. be. It could, it could be. be. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but this idea of collective ownership, like collective responsibility, collective ownership. It's a responsibility yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the resources are collectively owned. Yeah. I think that's part of what unites, you know, collective rights of indigenous people. Yeah. Um, and being a but no market mechanism, I think, is about this collective exercise. And that's that's how I see it. It's it's it's, it's a practice of collective rights. It's a practice. Well, in the context of six point eight, yeah, so, and that's yeah. how I yeah. try to explain to everyone. Yeah. Is that it's the it's the collective uh, realization that we need to change our lifestyle, yeah, a collective lifestyle, right? Yeah, a, a, that is, that is sustainable. Yeah, yeah. you know. And then, um, so yeah, the way that I see it is before because that that's the whole yeah. problem. Before yeah. uh, parties didn't have an idea what in the world is a non-market yeah, approach. Yeah, yeah. They've been thinking about it for ten yeah. years. This uh, to this day, yeah. they might have an idea, yeah. but like. There's an hesitation yeah. towards, like a definition of removals. Yeah. Because everybody what wants is, to go through the market, because there, because you know. Yeah, there's money in it. There's yeah. incentives involved. Yeah. But the th the thing is, is that uh, yeah, normal market approach. What I would do is try to, and I think this first step, step has been made mm -hmm. by having these you know, people, not involved, but present on what the lifestyle change is, like yeah. what what the yeah. values are, uh, the principles are. Yeah. That the first step has been made, like, hey, there's not one definition of a non-market approach. Right. That's another definition of a right. non-market yeah. approach. What I like to see and what could happen through, yeah, you know, constant yeah. like, uh, yeah. and these people participating in yeah. these workshops, yeah. is that you come to a whole new, you label it differently. Yeah. I mean, everybody is labeling different things these days. Like loss and uh, damage is now a climate impact, and uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so why don't we do it as yeah, well yeah. and call it something else? Yeah. You know, and and then, so because so yeah, so now there's a huge uh, opposition to include carbon pricing yeah, yeah. into uh, into yeah. into six point eight. Hopefully that that because because they st but they still see it as like a it's just a specific. It could just be a one example of what no market approach could be. And I don't think a lot of countries want to kind of single out this particular mm -hmm. uh, approach, this particular activity as no market approach, because yeah. it, it feels like it's limiting. So they want a much broader uh, application of, of understanding of no market approach. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I'm quite, um, I think if indigenous peoples were able to smartly engage with this mechanism, there's definitely an opportunity to kind of showcase more of uh, what the lifestyle or what, what, what indigenous peoples have been doing for the many, many uh, years um, uh, to, 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 uh, to, uh, to an audience that is actually, to an audience that has power to make decisions. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I, I do see an opportunity for engagement. I do see a lot of, a lot of like that's where indigenous peoples can actually exercise their right to to, to, ex to, to express their culture and to, to demonstrate their knowledge to, to people that, that are actually excited about this. Um, but I guess my only concern is that, you know, there has always been a talk about treating no market approach and market approach uh, equally, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Bolivia, for example, has always maintained a position that, you know, that all of the Article 6 paragraphs have to be given equal attention. Yeah. Um, but the problem now is that uh, everybody's rushing to 6.4, right? A lot of submissions, a lot of ideas, and a lot of money, and a lot of parties are kind of packed in that one space. Yeah. Uh, whereas the 6.8 receives a very little kind of um, uh, focus. Um, and that concerns me a little bit. Um, is it, does it mean that, uh, does it mean that uh, there's a lot of power vacuum where, 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 where you know, where there is more space for stakeholders and rights holders to be engaged? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. but, um, but the way I see no market approach is a, is, is a, is a very collective exercise, right? Uh, yeah. Because it's a, it's a lifestyle change, it requires collective uh, engagement. 
Whereas the market approach is, is when you put price on things and when you, when you, uh, when you trade things, it, 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 it's, it's, like a, it's like a privatization, right? It's individuals. It's, um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the very practice, the nature of capitalism, it, it destroys this idea of collective ownership. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so of course, it's in, it's within everybody's right to, or every community, every people's right to to engage in the market if that's something for them. But there has to be some opportunity for people who don't want to engage in the market to 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 still co contributing to the goals of the Paris Agreement and be recognized for it while while uh, maintaining their way of life and. And, uh, and ensuring that, 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 that those, those, uh, those lifestyles are, are recognized and protected. Right, yeah, but the, yeah. Like, there's also like if you, another advantage that I see, yeah. or advantage, I won't yeah. call it advantage, but yeah. a plus that I see, yeah. is that it's, um, the, how should I, if you look at the, 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 the text of, of Article 6, it's yeah. about cooperative approaches. Yeah. Uh, voluntary cooperative approaches, yeah. right? Yeah. And if you focus on cooperative approaches amongst parties, amongst states, yeah. So Article six point eight, to me, it's 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 a super opportunity for indigenous indigenous peoples, not yeah. just Indian people's organizations, yeah. but actually indigenous peoples, yeah. to exercise international cooperative approach by, mm. you know, like by by like nation to nation help, you know, helping yeah. them, right? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Sorry. So that is something that I um you know, that how I yeah. Sorry. How I choose to yeah. interpret six point eight. Yeah. Others will choose it yeah. to interpret it differently. Yeah. One hundred percent. I get that. Yeah. Um. But it's it's also about you know like it's it's trying to uh, create avenues for these peoples, even though they're not there. Yeah. But create avenues for Indian peoples to participate yeah. in a way that they can participate as self-determining peoples, yeah. and, and and like we've been, like if you if you bring it to like the the the, the, the fact or the statistic or the talking point, like eighty percent of the world's main biodiversity, mm. uh, lands, territories, of Indian peoples. Yeah. So, like I don't know, like the, the first question to come up with with the, in with the with a Western country would be like, all right. So what is it then? Yeah. And, also, and then, so I want to go beyond that talking point. Yeah, yeah. Beyond a talking point of the 80% yeah. of the world's remaining yeah. biodiversity. Beyond going yeah. to plenary yeah. statements for, yeah. for two yeah. minutes, yeah. trying to say the, the, the thing over and over and over again um, every, every time. Yeah. But actually, oh, oh yeah, here. Yeah. Go to 6.8, go to that web portal, yeah. Yeah. and you see actual non-market approaches of yeah. Indian peoples, uh, a border system, yeah. if you go to, yeah. if we go to, uh, how about the the Hawaiian Ahapua'a system? Yeah. You know, and then you look at that as a model and you see if that that has an international ap application yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not Hawaiian, yeah. but it would be interesting if people from uh, from, yeah. from from Hawaii yeah, uh, yeah you know, could could elaborate further on yeah. that. And then there's like a plethora of yeah. of, of examples out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be interesting in, in this whole thing. And the thing is, is that I'm, I'm, I'm the first one to say that I'm against a database of digital knowledge, mm. 100%. I think it's been a position, I mean, the local, local community indigenous people's platform, right? Uh, well, in the, in the very beginning, yeah. the idea was, and I, and I, I, still, I still have the list of indigenous yeah. people's representatives yeah. that were okay with data, with yes. having a database, yeah. right? I still have the list in my head. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it out loud, yeah. but I know one. A, yeah, well, there yeah. was a meeting, <laughs> and bond. they said, yeah. "Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah. You know, like uh, we have traditional yeah. knowledge. Why don't we make money out, I mean, out of it?" It works. For, it works for some, I imagine. Exactly, and and uh, that and that is yeah. well, this is one of my main yeah. my main concerns yeah. is that well, if it works for me, yeah. then it should work for everyone. Yeah. But that's not the case. Yeah, you know. So it's uh, so the carbon we, market assumes that, right? Well, so there's a straight jacket rules well, for uh, yeah, but and also like people yeah. that uh, say like, well, a, a database of traditional knowledge is fine because yeah. well, you know, like, traditional yeah. knowledge is uh, public yeah. uh, knowledge anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah, that might be in your situation, mm. but not in my situation yeah. or anybody else's situation. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so with the initial idea of the platform, mm. absolutely not, not yeah. going to do it. Yeah. Um, but like, this is a normal market approach. It's, it's because there's so far mm. not as much interest into it, mm. for example, in comparison, in comparison with 6264. Yeah. yeah. People still trying to figure out what an R market approach is like. So we we still you can like, still shape that. You shape can still it. shape yeah, that. You can yeah, still, and we're still in the design yeah. phase. Yeah, you know, and then yeah, yeah you, you, you can you can bitch and yeah. moan about like how wrong yeah. unit triple C is. Yeah, and there's a lot of merit in that yeah. in that argument, and I would agree like 99 percent of it. Yeah, but you know there are in these people that want to participate. Yeah, and it's up to us. That's how I see it is to create the framework. Yeah, they can they can safely yeah. do it. And this is where I go back to my own kind of point about with right uh, comes practice, grievance and uh, appeal mechanism. Yeah, the parties asked, <clears throat> "What is it? What do people want?" Right. They have given the opportunity for stakeholders and indigenous peoples to to make an input. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, if they don't use that opportunity to define, to set the tone on what the mechanism is or can be, then, 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 then they're going to create something that you don't want in right. the end. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure, you know, when Glasgow, it's, it's great to be in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a phase where people are asking, what is it? Right? It's like, it's like the most simplest question, the first question you ask to anyone, like, what is it? What is yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, and this is where, same as the BBNJ, like, what is it? What is it that we're looking at? And mm -hmm. then you are in that negotiation from the very start, correct? Mm -hmm. So, and then, and then you are able to kind of uh, have, this, have the seat to, 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 to kind of explain. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 then, and then as a result, some of the things that are in the text reflects some of your understanding mm -hmm. of the topic. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so this non-market approach has been, I mean, it's been established in Paris, so it's been eight years, but they still, you know, you know for better or worse, <laughs> asking themselves what exactly it is that, that we're talking about. And right. I'm really happy that, that, uh, that, that Andrea and, and the chief and, uh, and, 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 and Victor and, and, and others were able to kind of leave that, you know, like a, leave that uh, print mm -hmm. in that, because it comes out as a report. Yeah. And that report will be basis for something else. And I think that that was like, you know, you know, uh, 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 that that really um, gives me uh, as long as long as we as long as indigenous peoples maintain their engagement, that gives me a lot of a uh, lot of uh, optimism. It's it's also something because like, uh, it probably could be part of it yeah. is a lot of these things. Yeah. You cannot conceptualize it. Right. It is very hard to like put your teeth into like what is adaptation, right? Uh, global yeah. goal and adaptation. Yeah. Uh, um, agriculture maybe. Yeah. Uh, definitely uh, difficult to well, common markets. Yeah. Six point two, for yeah. example. Like a lot of people don't even know what what, what no. they're negotiating. No. But the thing is, with six point two, like of six point eight is, and I'm not that trying to like be the like I'm, I'm I'm not trying to fetishize it. Right. Like, oh yeah, the, yeah. it's uh, gonna end all be all. Yeah, I don't wanna be like a hype, but it is a hype. It is a bit of a hype, but. Uh, it's a bit of a hype, but, yeah. but you wanna show the potential of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And it has potential for indigenous peoples to show, to demonstrate. Yeah. Not to like talk about the, the abstracts, yeah. The, yeah. The, the statistics, yeah. but to demonstrate what you cannot do in agriculture, what yeah. you cannot do in adaptation, yeah. what you yeah. cannot do in. And GST, for yeah. example, yeah. this is actually like, all right, how do you do it? Yeah. And that is what I think is, it could be an exciting yeah. thing for these people to start like putting their teeth in for the next yeah. couple of months or a year. Yeah. Uh, like, all right, so how do we give this whole thing hands and feet? Yeah. How do we present another definition of a non-market approach yeah. that actually uh, falls in line with what countries like Bolivia yeah. uh, has have said yeah. or tried to push for when they, when they then there was, this yeah. was negotiated. But <coughs> do, do you think indigenous people can come up with a definition of um, this so-called no-market approach? I think 
that we shouldn't be trying to come up with a definition. Okay. Just keep it... Uh, Neither, yeah. we just show it. Well, we can show what is not. Perhaps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's just about showing yeah. what we do, yeah. how we do it, yeah. why we do it, yeah. you know, and then I think a an, an definition will emerge by itself. Yeah. Yeah. And like, 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 you know one when you see one, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you recognize yeah. it when you see it, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. You know, so it's, so that's, um, I don't want to like, um, start with definition and yeah. then, right. like, right. Uh, then any of these people have like, well, well, yeah. whether my non-market approach falls within the scope of the definition that's yeah. been negotiated yeah. uh, at, the, at the Glasgow yeah. Committee on Non-Market Approaches. Yeah. No, yeah. it's like, all right, we're just gonna like uh, present, yeah. demonstrate yeah. what what it is that we yeah. do and everything else, yeah. and then makes it as close to clear for for for, for parties as mm. well as these people. So, all right, so this is what it's not. Mm. What an arm market approach is. So yeah. there's no no crediting involved. Yeah. All that stuff. No trading. All right. So yeah. actually, there's principles involved. Yeah. The currency is principles. Yeah. And not. Uh, I don't know, dirham or, or carbon whatever. Credits, carbon uh, credits and forest trees. Yeah. Um, exactly. You know, so so yeah. that's what it's not. So yeah. that that's how you can like scaffold your way towards a, yeah. a definition. Uh, it is a lot like uh, just like understanding. Right. Yeah. Understanding of what yeah. a yeah. the concept of non-market approach is. Yeah. You know, and then maybe we shouldn't even be calling it a non-market yeah. approach. Yeah. At that point, but. Do do, do you do you uh, do you regret that we didn't? Well, you, the Article Six team in general hasn't really engaged with the Article Six Point Eight. No, 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 no. I I, I get it, like because we at the beginning, at the at the big, yeah, no, I don't. Like it's it's always it's easy to uh, to reflect. Yeah. I'll linger to the, the road not taken. Yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah, oh yeah. should I should have would have could have yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, absolutely not. It's with the information that we have right now, we're able to and the people. Yeah. Uh, this is not like serendipity, yeah. but it's actually like it had to but, be this way. Yeah. So yeah, six point eight is now we can give it more meat. Yeah. Than that but, we did in the beginning. Tell me, tell me how you found out about that workshop and, and how you organized it because it wasn't in my radar at least when we when we were thinking about six point article six because we were because for the last two cops and even even at the beginning of this cop we always always focused on the market mechanism. Yeah. But suddenly, uh, I found my, I found myself I found myself uh, seeing. Uh, uh, Andrea and you and others uh, engaged in the Article 6.8 workshop. Mm -hmm. So, so tell me, tell me how you how you got there. Like, where, where did it start? Actually, it was I was kind of as frustration. Yeah. To be very honest, it was frustration. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Right. So we did, we have the Article 6 and loss of damage yeah. advocacy team, and yeah. we're preparing for for COP. Yeah. And. Then, like uh, all of a sudden, like did this just transition position paper came in. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ah, you know, it, you know, Article Six and Lost Damage, they're like huge topics. Yeah. Huge monsters. Yeah. Like, why in the world would you also uh, saddle up us up with a huge monster like just transition? Yeah. It's like I don't, I don't know what to do. But like, yeah. it's, it's well, there needs to be a position paper, and yeah. like, and that's the thing, like it's. If you're a team lead or whatever, like yeah. you, you try to accommodate. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, yeah. all right, let's continue working on on the, yeah. on the language, and yeah. they kept continuing working yeah. on the language. I yeah. needed to find a place for it. Mm. So I looked at the just trans uh, and so I looked at the just transition uh, work stream mm. and the just transition text that mm. these people were preparing. Yeah. And I looked at it like they're not matching. Yeah. Like this, this what we're t what we're advocating for in our position paper on Just Transition, mm. it's totally different from mm. the Just Transition, what Unit Triple C is looking yeah. at right now, yeah. which is the workforce. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, well, if you want to talk about that, go to ILO, yeah. Yeah. not about, not to indigenous peoples. Yeah. So, so I was like, all right, so what, what is the right host yeah. or, or monster, if you will, yeah. for, 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 for Just Transition? Mm. So then I, um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, so then I walked walked back to like because I had to do a, a presentation to um, uh, students at Yale. Yeah. 
about yeah, Indonesian people's participation in the yeah. in, in Europe's policy diplomacies, yeah. and the way that I teach or explain things is like making using analogies. Yeah. So, yeah, I go, went through the analogy uh, that I did for for Article Six mm. and end up with six point eight, like change of lifestyle, mm. and then like okay. the light bulb moment okay. came. Yeah. Like, oh, hold on, change of lifestyle. And that's pretty much what Just Transition Position Paper is yeah, advocating yeah, for. Yeah. So then I went, I really went through the, the decision text of yeah. 6.8. Yeah. And then I saw like in one of the preamble paragraphs like about the, the Just Transition, like, yeah. hmm, all right. So there's, there's a hook in there. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. And then you see like this workshop yeah. and you already know that there's yeah. um, little, t a, a, not necessarily a definition of non-market approach. Mm. So opportunity yeah so that's when i said all right hey guys i think i found something yeah uh where we can build in uh elements of yeah. just trans just yeah. transition in our market approach yeah. uh and demonstrate it yeah. so not just like hey uh into textual negotiation mm. but actually show demonstrate it through yeah. presentation and everything else yeah so that's so, so that's how you know and then, and then people it's also like one thing is to have an idea but also yeah. it's like know how to sell it yeah and who is like your 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 your, your first adopter yeah. you know like all right who's who's the first one to yeah. to adopt it like yeah. so and then so you, you talk about it and then obviously andrea like she she hopped on it and was yeah. like sold yeah. immediately and and the thing that that is what other other people are like seeing as well like mm. hey like we, we we can intervene we can show we yeah, can yeah. demonstrate and yeah. there's no there's no confrontation no there's no confrontation yeah of like, well, this is outside of scope or whatever. Yeah. No, this actually, no, this is a non-market approach. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's no way that yeah. they can counter that. Yeah, yeah. Because first of all, they have no idea what it, what it means. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And, and second of all, the only ones that know what it means yeah. are Indian people. So yeah. like, all right, you know, so it's, it's I think, uh, I'm not Nostradamus, but like, I think yeah. within the next couple of years, uh, you will see that, that build up. Yeah. Um, towards a non-market approach, knowing what, knowing what it is, yeah. trying to s explain what it is not, yeah. uh, give it as mu a, 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 a comfortable framework yeah. Yeah. so that does not include carbon credit and, yeah. and, and all that yeah. stuff. And then go, you go into that international cooperation yeah. aspect. Yeah. Um, so if you get that, and then obviously, like st if you like 30,000 review yeah. and you look at like how an as participation process is advancing yeah. within the UN, yeah. Uh, the international co cooperation part yeah it can be very exciting yeah um so that, that's that, that, so that's that's how i how i try to look at uh well, 6.8 in, in this case then what, what 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 is your fear like do you have any that i'm that I, that i'm so so out of tune with what 6.8 is <laughs> that i'm yeah that i'm like yeah. the madrid scenario comes yeah, up. yeah 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 that's my biggest fear yeah uh but so far yeah like we're okay yeah you know but like yeah my biggest fear is that like that that we have the madrid scenario like oh my but, god but guys you read the text and it's it, it's it's very kind of digestible no like it's it's not very technical what's written in a text no because remember glasgow yeah. the idea like was to have a have it like have a definition of it and everything else yeah. but like uh second week yeah it got like minimized yeah. into what it is right now yeah. it's like glasgow committee and yeah, yeah, market yeah. approaches yeah. Web, a website and everything yeah. else uh so there was an attempt yeah to operationalize it in a yeah. way uh didn't didn't yeah. didn't succeed so uh which is an opportunity yeah. you know so it's it's uh but, so uh, the curse is also a blessing in this yeah case. at least when i read article 6.8 it's still i feel like it's it's within the bandwidth of the languages that I understand, you know? What about participation? Yeah, in contradiction to 6.2, right? Yeah, 6.2, which was like additionality and transfer credits and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and double counting. We had no idea. Still don't have an yeah, idea. Yeah, we still don't have any idea. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, perhaps the reason that, perhaps, perhaps, uh, perhaps that the article 6.8 is a little bit more digestible to us that makes it more um, kind of rela relatable. To the to to what what they're trying to achieve, um, yeah. When you listen to Bolivia's intervention, yeah, we, we get that we get what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, 
Right. Uh, and when we listen to other interventions also, like, yeah, we get what they're trying to say. And they, they always go through the standard of, okay, so who are the stakeholders and human rights, indigenous peoples. They have, that's always been a case. Yeah, yeah. But at least in, the, in, the, in a broader kind of context of six non-market approach, there is a sense that, yeah, we, we, get, we, we, we get it enough to, to kind of engage with it. Right. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. challenge. Could, all right, how, how should I put it? And this is coming from someone that actually negotiated the platform. Right. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, <laughs> is, could 6.8 potentially be what we actually wanted with the platform? Well, the platform has specific reference to the rights concept, of concept, 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 yeah. Oh, like specific reference to the rights of indigenous peoples, right? Yeah. And, uh, well, because no, the name is in it. Yeah. And, yeah, and, okay. and, and the form is very much up to the expectation of what indigenous people want from any body that, 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 that concerns states and indigenous people. For example, mm -hmm. uh, equal number of seats, equal leadership position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I, I get that. I yeah, get yeah, that. Okay, I get that. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah. And, 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 then, um, and then Glasgow, um, the, the, certainly it's, 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 it's a very heart of the Paris Agreement. It's like, it's like a one game above, right? Like it's Article 6. We're talking about Article 6. Uh, and we're talking about a decision that is being fought over at the CMA level, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> LSEP, Substa, like it, it, it all ended in Substa. Yeah. Uh, better or worse. Yeah. yeah but yeah. but this Glasgow text that we have now, it's gonna go up to CMA. Right. And perhaps they'll probably do some uh, emergency operations and 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 may not may have a completely different text uh, compared to what we are reading right now. Mm -hmm. So again, we're we're not sure. And we and 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 then as you know, the, the further you go into the COP and then it worked through indigenous peoples, civil society will start to lose their position, lose their seat or mm -hmm. position yeah. in, the, in the negotiation. Okay. So, so the capacity to engage at this point is, is, is probably not the same as what the LSIP was. Uh, LSIP negotiation unfolded and as a result, uh, it's very difficult to, 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 to know what might come in the end. But, you know, answering your question about like, is no market mechanism, is this Glasgow committee, right? Or, or whatever, whatever that might come out in the end. Mm -hmm. Is that more ideal than ideal avenue for indigenous peoples to share knowledge and, and climate policy action and capacity building and all that? Then the LSEP, um, to be honest, I, I, I don't know. Right. I, think, I think that would be my answer. I, I don't know. But what I do know is that is that this time, like certain corners of indigenous caucus is into it. Like it's, you know, it's, it's uh, 6.8 is, is um, they're seeing it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think if more people understood, you know, what 6.8 could mean, and it's something that has to be explained as well. Okay, what is the difference between 6.8 and LSIP? Sometimes, somewhere, somewhere down the road, it has to be explained, mm -hmm. I imagine. But, but, um, but learning from the experience of LSIP and its shortcomings and strength, I think indigenous people will still have the opportunity to make something better mm -hmm. for this no market mechanism. Okay. Because, because, because at one point, we were con I think I was concerned that maybe indigenous people will get trapped in the, in the LSIP. Right, this is like all the, all the indigenous people go there. Like a catch-all bucket for yeah. uh, for these people. Catch-all bucket. Um, is, is that not the case yeah. now, right now? Well, I'm I mean, asking. I mean, the way the UNFCCC kind of refers to indigenous people is LSEP, right? So like, oh, like if you want to talk to indigenous people, go to the LSEP. But right. you know, facilitated working group is not really representative of indigenous peoples. It's representative of indigenous peoples in states, and it's to have the caucus. Yeah. Um, so I think the Glasgow, <coughs> if 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 a lot of indigenous people go there. Then like, hang on a minute. I thought the LSEP was the was a catch-all thing. Well, okay. I thought I thought if you want to talk to indigenous people, go to the LSEP. But now you have the right. Glasgow committee or, or no market approach, and you have the caucus. So 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 there's more present. Like, you're trying to be engaged and present and participating. 
uh, and creating you know new avenues to make sure that the parties know that right. indigenous people so, can participate in different forms is important. Yeah. Right. Good view. This, the, the way that I start to s yeah. not start to see, but that, that I like to see it, yeah. is that the LC becomes a feature of 6.8. Okay. So yeah. like... Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, like a feature of 6.8. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> for example, you had the, the knowledge sharing exercise yeah. Yeah. Of, the, of, the, of the platform. Yeah. You know, like, all right, cool. However, like that could be like a feature of the that could be an activity of the of the non-market approach yeah. as well, you yeah. know, or yeah. you know, like that it, it's that it uh, interacts yeah. with one another. Yeah. So it's um, I'm not saying that it should re the one should replace the other, yeah. but I think definitely it's if states fail at this point to see the efficacy or not efficacy, efficacy but uh, the how should it get so called like the um, the function. Mm of the LSIP yeah. in relation to the agenda. Yeah. I'm not talking about the, the three yeah. function of, yeah. the, of, the, of yeah. the platform, but yeah. the, the relation to the agenda, yeah. this could be it. Yeah. This could be like one of the, so this could be like one, oh, hold on. If it works like this on yeah. our market approaches, yeah. let's do something on our ag agriculture. Yeah. Let's do something like, and then you could, so, as yeah. Article Six is the first through the door yeah. for for carbon markets, how about Six Point Eight being the first through the door yeah. in terms of and it, it, streamlining yeah. indigenous people's knowledge and participation? Yeah, um, and, and it has a semi-permanent mandate, right? Uh, Article Six Point Eight. Yeah, Paris Agreement is a is a is a is a is a mandate that will continue to that that. That is there until we achieve the goal of, you know, 1.5. So it's within. So, so, so indigenous people have been positioned in a better place to, 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 to contribute. You to, position yourself. Yeah. Because neither parties yeah. nor indigenous peoples yeah. in the beginning yeah. did not see like the added value. Yeah. However, instead of like, that's what I see, that's what yeah. I mean, like, it's, instead of like, oh, platform. This yeah. is our place. Yeah. No, you look at all these streams like, yeah. so how can I bend it in such a way yeah. that it can actually benefit yeah. the, the objective that we have yeah. over here at the NFC. Yeah. So like it's, all right, no market approach is cool. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, let, let, we can use it as an avenue too. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. You, you expand it, you build it, and yeah. that can become a model for further yeah. uh, things to, yeah. to, done, to be done. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this. Please consider to subscribe, to comment, and to share this video on your socials.